All right, how you guys doing this morning? Bagley Contracting, thanks for joining us again this morning. Um, we've done some outside shots, now we're inside. This is our spray booth room. Serves a couple of different purposes. Uh, at lunchtime, we put the heater on, we come in, we hear, in here and we eat because it's warm in here when we run the heat and it's cold outside. Uh, the other thing is we set up to do our siding. We've talked about the siding enough times. I've heard it. We saw in Spruce, we get this at A&D Lumber. It's a historical product. Um, it's on their line, nice nice uh, stuff. And we bring it in here and we buy it untreated. And uh, Mike Scheimer from MOM Painting sets up in here with heat and he sprays this stuff with a primer all the way around. And then he's gonna put a coat of finish color on it. So when we install, even if it's the middle of the winter, we'll be putting primed painted siding on the building versus just throwing up raw stock that doesn't get back primed. It peels if you don't back prime it. So we want to make sure we back prime, we want to make sure we face prime, and we're going to try to get a coat of color on everything we install from here on out, and that'll just help us in the respect of, uh, we'll be one step ahead when it comes time to do painting. And then when we go do the rest of our painting, when it warms up again, we'll caulk everything, we'll put a second coat, and we'll you know put uh, trim color paint on it, and then the house will be nice and solid as far as that goes. All right, we're on the opposite side of the of the duplex today. This is the rental side, and we haven't taken this porch off yet. I want to use this as an entranceway for everybody working here to have a decent set of stairs to get in and out. Decent in the respect that they're functioning, but they are going to get replaced. We're going to leave the roof line alone because I can leave this to last, and I'll have a roof line getting into the building. And when we pan to the right, you can see the house wrap is on. You can see the windows have been trimmed. Um, we use Tyvek, we use Dow Wrap. We, there's a few different house wraps. I'm not really particular with any one brand. Um, I use Tyvek on this particular job in this phase because that was where I was for materials. I, I saw the rolls and I grabbed it there. They're all about the same. They all have good qualities. I like to I like to use a, a house wrap tape on the seams because then you don't have an air filtration because this house is boarded behind the house wrap. It's not plywooded or OSB, so there's a lot more air space for filtration. So if you use the house wrap, then you get a better, tighter product. And I like to use the tape around the windows before I put the trim on, and that way you can get a nice, tight, you don't have a lot of drafts. It just The whole idea about reworking this house is to tighten it up and make it an energy efficient 21st century home. The Silver Line windows are an Anderson product. They're a good low E argon tilt in. And then you use the house wrap, you use a house wrap tape, and then you put a trim around it that's decent and tight. And you're not going to have a lot of air filtration that's going to make a big difference. The same thing with the doors. When we install new doors, we'll use uh, ice and water shield around all the bottoms before we set the doors and make sure they're all seated and we never have to worry about a water issue. This house had a lot of leaky windows. Along with all the other problems, this was your typical old house. All the windows. It had air leaks or water leaks or both. There was a lot of damage around the majority of the openings. They had seen water at one point or another. They had all leaked. 